So guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title today, we are dropping back the fantastic 208. How are we, mate? Very well, I'm a bit sad, it's going back. You're a bit sad. We'll get in the car because we need to chat about this thing and how you've enjoyed yourself for the past week. Five days. Look at Alcantara, it's still there, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yes, you have been um, actually daily driving this, whereas I've been just enjoying it from time to time, and you're now about this life, aren't you? I, mm, easy, easy now. Easy now, okay, I'm still so, a petrohead. Don't I'm spit, don't be like now, this. But, I'll be honest with you, most impressed. Most what impressed. fantastic car. It is very, very usable. Down to the idea that you got in it this morning, yep. it was minus four this morning, something like that. Yep. The M4 took around 10 minutes to actually not warm up because apparently on the internet, you're not allowed to warm your cars up. Did you know that? People have been telling me off for warming my cars up. Is that true? That's, a, that's actually a thing. People had a go at me for warming the Series 1 RS Turbo up when you can't drive it when it's not anyway. That's, we'll get into that in a different video. Anyway, warming this car up as in, as in warming <laughs> the car up as in when it gets warm I mean the atmospheric temperature the atmospheric the temperature in the car yeah. yes that is instant instant, oh, instant. Well, you've just got in it let's just see how warm the air comes out of the bed give it a second to because move the it air has the top. oh no we're in low so it has a separate Why? heater in the actual car where you can put hot air straight out so it doesn't work off the engine obviously that's a uh, very Electric thing. Have you put your heat teaser? Oh, I'll put the old heat teaser. Yeah. It's, got, it's got to be done, and it? It's got to be done. Look at the M4 behind us. I know this video ain't about the oh, M4, I'm gonna, I'm gonna but oh my. We are going to have to. We're going to have to show it. We'll have to do a shimmy on, yeah. yeah. This is a lot. Of, <laughs> this is a lot easier to thread through the uh, British B roads, in my opinion. Oh, the regenerative braking kicking in very nicely there. <laughs> and uh, well. Keeping up in an M4 in these conditions on these small roads oh, isn't something. It, it isn't something that um, I personally can do because that car is out of control most of the time. This one, because it's small and French. Look at this. Small and French means that it's better to drive, better to nimbly get round corners. We're not saying an M4 is boring though, because it certainly ain't. But this is sprightly at. But it's more than sprightly, and it? it's more than sprightly. Is that is that steering wheel coming into your favour right now, mate? Are you enjoying that steering wheel? <laughs> Are you thoroughly enjoying the steering wheel? I'm enjoying I'm the car. Enjoying the car. Okay. Do you know it's not as lurch as I I thought these would be. It doesn't lurch that much round corners, although are, it's this soft and nice to drive. We are tramping off to so now back in the thirty, and down we go to thirty mile an hour How speeds. How hot are you? Well hot. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, that it's got hot oh, that it's quick, that hot, yeah. and I know that's an obvious thing for electronic cars, the electronics with electrics and the electric. Yeah. But that's just so nice. And you said this morning, like Liz, you got in it and it was like ready to go straight away. Yes. My M4. It took a while to not be able to rev it, but it took a while for you be able to go along and actually have hot air and everything yeah. out of it, which is uh, yeah. is a plus point for the electric car game. How much? energy have you used so that's the next um, thing i've probably done the wrong thing right i have been topping it up fairly daily so right. because we only had the uh, slow trickle charger yeah they said that that takes 17 hours to fully charge it so i never let the car go below 100 mile range right and okay it had one full night's charge mm -hmm. and two afternoons at the workshop okay i've used it every day i've done 116 miles in the car and we we've, we've still have a 113 mile range right so the maths is there i would say that it's probably cost me six quid to run a six pounds for a week's worth of uh, oh, into a 60. Time, go yeah it goes well doesn't it yeah. but a six <laughs> six pounds worth of electric yeah. in theory energy has been used Roughly. to actually Get enjoy this for a week that. Yeah. yeah. Now, I've already put 85 quid in the M4 today. I have to go put some more fuel in a minute. Very different car. Oh, there's another one there. Look at that. That's the yellow. I, I do like, I'm not, I'm not that much of a fan of um, okay. other cars other than the yellow. Oh, yeah, that's that's a bit of a right, isn't it? Do you know, I know it isn't a GTI, 
It's a GT model variant, mate, but... If this made perpetual turbo noises, you would, you'd be... Oh, you'd be well about it. Yeah, yeah, you'd be well about you it. Difference. I, um... I'm thoroughly impressed with this car. You're thoroughly impressed with this car. Yeah. And I feel like... I said this in the last video. If little cars, normal cars, are like this, they're just going to get better. Yeah. Because this isn't... It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel lumpy to go down the road in. It's really comfy. It's got all of the entertainment you can ever want. Yes, it's a new car, but... It's so nice to be it's in. Well equipped. Well equipped. Even for, um, I'm not going to say a Peugeot, but you would expect some sort of downside. There isn't a downside. There just isn't a downside. So, oh mate, I'm about it. I'm about it. And so are you. And do you know what you said this morning? Don't really want to give it back. But do you know what? For the simplicity. Of I know, right? Driving, yeah. Right. I normally do have either access to a modern transit or a fairly modern Fiesta, whatever. Yeah. But they're all manuals. Yeah. They're all diesels or 1.6 petrols. And in the winter, this has been a dream. Yeah. I, I, I'm thoroughly impressed with the way this car has been and the way it's equipped. It's fun. Mm. It's actually fun. It's and the chair is fantastic. The chairs are, yeah. And do you know what? Do you you're, remind me of? You're, Old school Recaro, the way I'm in. What, like a Series 1 Recaro? You know what I mean? Yeah. Similar colour too. Similar, very similar colour, look at it, great. So yeah, you're a fan, I'm a fan, from Petrol Heads, it works, doesn't it? And I can yeah. see why you would daily drive one of these. We're now going to do a montage of the M4 driving along behind us, because I don't see my car driving along behind us, so it's enter cool. montage Normally now. Normally you're in it. Normally I'm in it, yeah. <laughs> So this lovely gentleman in front is about to go down there. We're not going to launch it, but... That's nice and hard. Oh, and we're getting overtaken by your own car. <laughs> petrol still wins! Yes! That's for all the petrols out, so heads out there. That are uh, still very, very not about the um, electronic life, let's say. And an M4, my M4, just come past us like we were stood still. So, <laughs> Jamie's still well happy. <laughs> but this car's still great, don't get me wrong. But that, that, that's, that's, that's the nuts, that car. That is the absolute nuts. <laughs> 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 so we uh, just jumped on Instagram stories actually and gave people a slight poll what would you rather have right would you rather have price point wise the M4 and this car we're sat in right now is very similarly priced yes you can get different finance deals here there and everywhere which one would you actually take home would you rather no the electric worries. car new nice get everyone in it you know it's fast but it's not madness don't get me wrong or would you rather have an you know six seven year old BMW M4 to take home that's less comfortable got less amenities a lot more expensive to keep going it gives you a lot more it's the bangs it's the fun it's the you know rear wheel drive excitement but two very different ends of the spectrum really yeah. but which one would you take home let us know below oh. Oh, no. not, giving up. <laughs> not giving up it's understandable it's fun this is like a, a nightmare in this sort of weather though it's just like all over the place but here we are back at the peugeot dealership again massive thank you to these guys for letting us uh have this car especially jason's this was in your new daily wasn't it pretty much it was yeah it was absolutely loving I think life i think i hope i'm gonna buy one but do you know what i wouldn't discount it no from a company vehicle for one of the employees oh, or yeah. a vehicle as a pool car mm. i definitely definitely wouldn't discount this as a choice yeah it is a fantastic choice that's a questionable choice sometimes because it's it's overly silly but this mate i'm about it I'm about it, I'm not even gonna lie. So there we have it guys, our week with the 208 is up. Again, massive thank you to the guys at Staddlestones Peugeot, right here on the Isle of Wight for letting us take this and enjoy it for the week. Thank you to Jason for sorting it out as well. It's a very, very nice week with the car, but thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one.